Well, let's begin with KCRA 3's Mike Lurie live in Sacramento with a look at how some people were caught trying to have a little bit too much fun, Mike. That's, that's right. We're here at the meeting of Discovery Park, the place where two rivers, very powerful rivers, meet the Sacramento River to my left and the American River to my right. And you can see across the way there to Scornia Beach. That's the place where hundreds of people are here cooling off on this hot Labor Day. And of course, the American River is the place where booze is banned and park rangers are out in full force. While boaters are out enjoying their day on the river, Park rangers are busy enforcing Sacramento County's strict ban on alcohol for this three-day weekend. You guys don't have any alcohol or glass containers, do you? You mind if I take a peek in the ice chest? And on this stop, rangers discover a hidden stash of banned bottles, vodka, and margarita mixes that won't be allowed on the river today. So rangers pour them out where no one will drink them. So it is banned from the Hazel basically all the way down to um, Watt Avenue. But despite the ban and multiple warning signs, some people try sneaking in the booze anyway, hoping they won't get caught. You guys have any alcohol or glass containers? Yes, I got a little bit. Well, I'm going to have to dump this out yep. for you, okay? All right. Rafters with alcohol run the risk of getting a citation, but park rangers say most end up getting their supplies confiscated. It's an enforcement action that many people we talk to today seem to support. Well, I feel like that's a good idea because it uh, is typically abused by younger people, and um, I was guilty of that 20, 30 years ago on the same river. But not everyone believes in the ban. Paul Warren, the father of a toddler, told us his concerns. I think people should pretty much be able to do what they want and live free. As long as they aren't hurting anybody, you know, if you be responsible for your own actions and whatever you do. And you're looking at live pictures now along the American River where the alcohol ban is part of an overall safety message on the river this weekend. It's especially important because eight people have drowned here since the beginning of summer, since Memorial Day. And that's just part of the safety message here. The other important part, wearing your life preserver. We'll show you how that message is being enforced coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live along the American River, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. All right, Mike. And uh, Mike, uh, what have you noticed about the speed of the current uh, this Labor Day weekend? Yeah, there's a dramatic difference, Rob. We've noticed, in fact, uh, from park rangers telling us that it has speed slowed down by about one-fourth. It was four times more powerful on the 4th of July than it is today. We'll have more of that coming up again tonight at 6. We'll check back with you. Thank you. For